To whom it may concern, I don't quite know who that will be. As I stand on this bridge looking down at my eventual end, I wonder who this letter is for. Are you a person reading this years, centuries, or a millennia into the future? Were you a survivor that lasted a little longer than me and went on to repopulate the earth with another persistent survivor? A modern Adam and Eve. Will this letter end up sitting here forever, slowly withering away with the years alongside my body? Either way, this letter is a concern to no one. There is no one who will wonder why I ended my life. No one looking for closure. If this letter is found, I am a mysterious man who just wasn't quite strong enough to make it a little longer. In the more realistic case, where this is never read by another pair of eyes, it's simply a diary. One last entry to give me peace of mind. As I sit here, I wonder what the point of this letter really is. Do I continue writing, or stop now and save myself the trouble? Maybe this is giving me some sort of peace. Because each time I put down my pen, I pick it up again to write another sentence. Each time I write another line, it stalls me from impending self-inflicted doom. Is this letter just a stall? I'm sitting here, writing in hopes I'll see a sign of another life. But that's not true. I do want to end it. I've been alone here for three years. I've exhausted all my sources of happiness. Done everything there is to do at least twice. I truly have no reason to go on. So that's why I'm writing this letter. To justify to myself why I'm ending it. To really make sure this is what I want. It is what I want. I have nothing left to live for. Over the past three years, I've tried to reignite those bright emotions I once felt by doing all the things I missed. Things like bike rides, swims in the cool water, walks on a summer day where every once in a while a cool breeze would wash over my face. Anything to feel even a bit of the life I once had. At first it worked. I would be exhilarated riding around in a car or a bicycle, feeling the wind whip through my hair and over my face like a fast current of water. But at some point there was little I could do to bring back any activity in my brain. So that brings me to now. I am a no one who has given way to my own human gluttony and filth. I have so little worth to my life now, I don't bother to take care of myself or the things around me. What's the point? There is no one here to see it, to see me. Now I'm sitting next to death, ready to grab his hand any moment. That time is coming closer and closer, like a hunter sneaking up on his prey. Unlike a scared, unknowing animal, I know what fate awaits me, and I welcome it now. So to whom it may concern, I say farewell. A final goodbye to no one. A goodbye to a life I once had, but is now so far away, I almost have no connection to it. Goodbye.
Night 